We are told to come boldly to our merciful God whenever we are in need of mercy. And how many times have we misused that verse? How many times have we been told to come boldly before the throne of grace and ask for your new call? And ask for your better job? And ask for your this or ask for your that? And it's very specific. Come boldly before the throne of grace and ask for mercy. Because mercy is what you need. No matter what your situation is, mercy is what you need. No matter what's going on, mercy is what you are in need of. No matter how good, how bad, how long, how short, mercy is what we need. And so at all times, we come boldly before the throne of grace, asking for mercy. We are told to come boldly to our merciful God whenever we are in need of mercy, and we are in constant need of mercy. We are in constant need of forgiveness. But here is the good news. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so tonight I encourage you, I even challenge you, don't be slow, don't be stubborn, don't be ashamed, ask for forgiveness, because God loves to forgive. Then there's a, there's a line that comes with forgiveness. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. We are forgiven to forgive. We are forgiven to be restored to relationship. But once we are restored to relationship, we are now expected. I would even go as far as say demand to be forgiven because of the forgiveness that we have been given. Living in forgiveness is not simply living without the shame or fear or guilt of our past sin. It's living without offense and living without grudge. It's living with not allowing disappointment to have its way with us and not giving room to accusations that come in our flesh from our enemy or from anybody else around us. Living in forgiveness is forgiving others even as Jesus has forgiven us. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. 